So am I right in saying, right, this was used in light aircraft as transportation when the pilot got to wherever they were going? Yeah, absolutely. You know, so from places, you know, rural areas of America, you'd have landed your plane in the middle of a field. You'd need to get into town or wherever you needed to go. So. Oh, yeah, you see, I keep forgetting that it was actually ostensibly American. Yeah. Right. So even if you landed at one end of the field, that was 20 miles to the other end. Yeah, absolutely. And very little infrastructure. You think places like Alaska or Canada or something. Task number one is to check the ignition. If it's working properly, when they pull the starter cord, the spark plug should spark. All right, so shall I pull it so yeah. you can see? Yeah, ready? Take one. No. Oh, I just thought it could be easy today. There's no sign of a spark, so next they disassemble the engine to check the rest of the mechanism. Sam cleans the points and they get ready to try again. Take two. Nothing. Take three. Even less. All right, let's take it apart again. Sam gets all technical, testing the ignition circuit with a multimeter, but then Henry has an even brighter idea. Can I suggest something? And uh, forgive me, right? And I know it's against our principles. Yeah. Sh shall I read the instructions out? Yeah. To start engine, fully open gas tap and gas tap breather valve. Remove scooter from centre stand, where we kind of done all that. Place choke handle in start position. Yeah. What? Switch ignition located headlamp to on position. What? <laughs> Seriously, man, I can't believe... What? There's no switches on there. Oh, yes, Damn. there are, Sam. Oh, they're tiny. Oh, you're kidding. Would you believe there's an ignition switch? Thank God I read the instructions. As soon as we found that tiny switch, I knew we'd get it running. Is that it? Well, it's on now. Hang on, let me just test this for continuity. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Henry gives the yoke a once over with a wire brush and then rubs a little polish into the headlamp. But the real magic happens when he enlists a well known kitchen essential tin foil, water. There is a chemical reaction that goes between the tin foil and the chrome. Really? Look. Wow. It's not going to be like it's been re-nickled or chromed like we've just done with the handlebars, but still... That looks great. It's got a bit of original patina. The key to any of this is don't do what I normally do, which is get overexcited and put too much on and make it run, but prep it properly. And I've sanded that down uh, with wire wool, etc., and got rid of as much surface rust as possible. And then the finish, as long as you don't do a Henry and make it run, uh, by getting over exuberant uh, is rather lovely. The trick is with plastic supposedly and that one's come up beautiful. Really Look nice. at that languishing there is to do this and then Sammy abrasively brushes it with a tough brush and amazingly it is actually getting rid of the ground in dirt. What does it call it? Self. It's sink cleaner. Hard surfaces cleaner do not swallow. Henry and Sam are restoring a 1960s novelty, a suitcase that transforms into a motorbike. Now, I'll tell you what, right? This is the craziest motorcycle I've ever seen.